these hot springs are just what my worn out body needs to feel alive again. Yes, but are you sure it's all right for me to join you? I feel sorry for Galdo and the others. Don't worry about it. Lola only comped us four tickets and you won yours fair and square in that game of rock, paper, scissors. Is it just me or does your skin seem really pale? Yes, when I was younger I used to get sick fairly often. You're lucky to be in such good health. Hey, don't touch me, moron. Oh, please excuse me. I couldn't help feeling a little jealous. So, anyway, what do you think of all this? If we collect all the Furies and revive the Goddess, do you think she'll really grant any wish we make? Yes, that's what I believe. We're fighting for the sake of that goal. But you're fighting for world peace, right? Of course. I'm willing to die to see that dream of mine fulfilled. That sounds sketchy to me. You gotta focus on your own needs first. Worry about your next meal instead of world peace. You don't need to act so standoffish, Fang. I can tell you're actually a kind-hearted person. Stop, you're embarrassing me. When I was a child, my village it was destroyed by the blood descendants of the Vile God. I don't really understand what this Vile God is. Who the hell is he? What? You honestly don't know about the Vile God? Nope. How surprising. And yet, you still collect the Furies without that knowledge. You truly are a strange person. Just tell me already. The Vile God is the embodiment of darkness. Long ago, he lost his power and fell into a deep sleep after battling the Goddess. If the Goddess is revived, this world will know eternal peace. But if the Vile God is revived, this world will end. The blood descendants of the Vile God butchered my people like cattle. My sister lived in fear of the Vile God up until the day she died. I'm the last surviving member of my family and village. Reviving the Goddess and sealing away the Vile God once and for all is my way of exacting vengeance. Gotcha. I never pegged you for someone who lived such a hard life. If the world comes to no peace, the wicked who deceive the good will meet their end. I will create a world of beauty, where no one suffers under the yoke of oppression. Oh, awesome. Looks like all my battle fatigue is drifting away. What are you looking at? I've never seen a fairy naked before. Your skin is surprisingly beautiful. It doesn't hold a candle to my own, though. What are you talking about? My skin is shinier and smoother than yours. Plus, my boobs are way bigger, too. Surely you just. Mine are clearly bigger. Are you blind? Mm -hmm. It is always easy to go your chest and shove your breasts in my face. And keep your hands to yourself. Let you touch me first. Let us stop. After all, we are at a hot spring. Getting worked up over such trivial pursuits will only tire us out again. Let us discuss other matters, Aaron. So tell me, how is your memory progressing? I heard that you remembered fighting alongside the goddess long ago. Yeah, but I haven't remembered anything new since then. What about you? What are you planning to do once we collect all the Furies? Didn't I tell you already? I am going to wish for world peace. Oh, please. You can tell me what you're really going to wish for. I won't tell anyone, no matter how shallow it is. I mean, you're only human, right? Don't you want anything else? Even something cliche like, I wish I was a billionaire? No, I certainly do not. What do you even know about me anyway? You don't have to get so angry. My body is... Wait, did you hear a scream just now? Yes, let's go. Wait a sec, the women's baths are that way. What, what about our clothes? There's no time for that. Let's go. Tiara! Eren! Death spiders. They capture their prey while it's still alive and bring it back to their nest. Fang! Fang! Uh, don't look, you pervert! Uh, please don't come over here! Wait, no! Save me! Wait, never mind! Please don't come over here! If you see me like this, my virtue will be tarnished! 
can't see anything with my eyes covered. Just come over here already. Aaron, get over here. I can't move. This is bad. They're gonna get eaten. I'll handle this. Ryushin, fair eyes. Affirmative. Threat acknowledged. Initiating combat mode. <laughs> No, she's gonna fall off the cliff! I'm glad there was a river here. Hey, are you alright? Get a hold of yourself, hey! <sighs> these things are stubborn as hell! Even without Eren, there's no way I'll lose to these things! Fang... Tiara! Are you alright, Tiara? Only because you saved me. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up with you? You're not acting like yourself. Did you hit your head or something? You are the very first person to shed their own blood to save me. Well, I couldn't help myself. You're kinda like my friend, you know? To go so far to save someone like me. It's fine already. Don't be so down on yourself. Personally? I prefer your usual attitude. Fang? What's up? Please promise me something. Promise? No matter what happens, promise me that you'll never fall in love with me. What the heck does that mean? I will never fall in love with you either. Are you messing with me right now? No, I'm being serious. I beg of you, please promise me. I don't understand what you're saying. Did you hit your head or something? You don't understand, Fang. Inside my body, I... Fang! Tiara! You're both safe. Yeah, just barely. Come on, let's go, Tiara. <sighs> Man, I'm stuffed! Oh, it's been a while since I've eaten this much. A while? You eat too much all the time. You should follow Lord Sherman's example every now and then. I'm a light eater by nature. That's because you have a refined nature, Lord Sherman. What do you mean, refined? He's a human just like me. He takes a dump after he eats like everyone else. Huh? Is that true, Lord Sherman? No, I've never done that. You're a friggin' liar! Now, now, enough arguing about this subject. Come, let's be on our way. Awesome, Tiara. Thanks for the grub. Huh? You should pay for your own meals. You can't depend on me forever. Huh? I already know that. Why are you acting like such a big shot? Who'd take nasty money from a nasty person like you? In fact, I'm not gonna let you pay for my food again. And don't you forget it. Very well. I shall hold you to that. Excuse me, please separate our bills. Yes, of course. I'll start with this young fellow here. That'll be 9,800 gold. All right, I got that. <clears throat> Is something the matter? What, did you lose your wallet or something? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Seriously? Dead serious. Are you kidding me? How are you supposed to pay the bill? Is everything okay, sir? Ah, <laughs> it's, it's nothing. <laughs> um, actually, hey, Tiara. I need to ask you for a favor. No way. My money is nasty, remember? <laughs> You're being so petty right now. I guess I have no choice. I'm sorry, Sherman, but could you... Damn it! He ran off! That was awfully fast of him. Hey, you. You're acting real suspicious. Are you trying to dine and dash? Fang does have a criminal record. That was just a misunderstanding. You're so damn annoying. Ah, oh, so you're a repeat offender. I knew it. All right, pal. 
Let's take this outside. Huh? Are you kidding me? You can't overlook one or two meals? I never should have eaten your food in the first place. That is unacceptable. Huh? W what is that? What is this weird creature? Some kind of stuffed animal type fairy? Who I am is irrelevant. I observed you this whole time, my boy. You did not eat nearly one or two meals. You ate ten. There is no doubt that you are at fault in this situation. Apologize at once. Hell no. If you apologize, I will cover your tab. I'm sorry. I see. You are an honest lad. Let me get a better look at you. Yes, yes. I like the cut of your jib. Ah, to be young again. Please, Pippin insists that you accept his money. Thanks, weirdo. As a token of my thanks, I think I should tell you that you have a sword stabbed into your head. The young need not worry about the details. In my younger days, I used to live rather recklessly. There was a time long ago when I had ten swords stabbed into my body. But I didn't mind at all, for I was quite strong. Now that I think about it, there was another time when I fought twenty or so monsters all at once. Pippin, they're not here anymore. For a second there, I had no idea what was going to happen. Please be more careful from now on, Fang. I must say, this was a consequence of Fang's irresponsible behavior. Seriously, Fang, grow up! I remember this, you guys. Excuse me, my boy. Ah, it's the weird creature again. Does that wallet over there belong to you, by chance? Oh, you're right! Damn, wallet, don't scare me like that. Jeez, you're so careless. I can't believe you dropped it outside the restaurant. I concur. You mustn't worry your friends, my boy. You should take their advice to heart and try to live a morally upstanding life as a complete human being. My life is none of your business. And I don't want to hear advice on being a better human from, uh... What are you? Fang was just a petty food thief before he met me. I guess old habits are hard to break. Shut up! That's none of his business either. What a surprise! It's unacceptable for a boy as hedonistic as you to call himself a fencer. Hmm... Alright, it's decided. I shall accompany you and properly instruct you on ethics and morality. Oh my! Doesn't that sound like a wonderful idea, Fang? Why don't you learn proper etiquette from him as well? That's not a bad idea. With his help, I'm sure Fang will become a much better person than he currently is. I'm standing right here, you asses. Hey, man, make your fairy shut up already. He thinks he's better than me, and he won't stop lecturing me. I'm sorry if this seems rude, but Pippin is not my fairy. That's right. I'm a fencer. Yes, and I am his fairy. You may address me as Soji. Huh? That's quite unexpected. Just from looking at them, you'd think it was the other way around. <laughs> a human's character is more important than their appearance. You should all learn to be more discerning of others. Seriously, dude, you're not human. I shall train your soul so you no longer judge others by their outward appearance. Stay dedicated, everyone! Whatever. Do what you want.
So, this is Pippin and Soji. Starting today, these guys are coming with us, so you all better get along. For sure! Nice to meet you, pretty boy. And, uh, this weird-looking cat is your fairy, eh? <laughs> I hope we get along, too! Hmm, nice to meet you. You're a rather odd fairy. How fascinating. That sword impaled through your head is especially alluring. Pleased to meet you all. My name is Soji. However, I am not a fencer. I'm the fencer. Huh? That's impossible! Uh, I see. That was, uh, unexpected. So, if you're actually the fairy, then what in the world is this creature? You youngsters haven't had enough training. As fencers, you must learn how to see the person in front of you for who he truly is. Back in my younger days, the competition to collect the Furies was wrought with confusion. Wicked fencers weren't our only enemy. We also had to contend with warlords, wizards, phantom beasts, and mysterious monsters. A fencer's only tools are their skills, their wits, and a heart that stirs with justice. For you see, fencers are... Pippin's story is about to get rather long. Shall I brew you some tea? Yeah, that'd be nice right about now. Well, youngsters, what did you think? Don't be shy now! Ho 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 ho! What's wrong with him? He won't stop talking. Oh, uh, he's done? I'm feeling rather parched. I think it's time for a bit of water. Hmm? I do believe this is Tiara's bag. It's quite unsafe to leave it lying around here. I'd best return it to her. Who would be out having a dialogue at this time of night? I beg of you, goddess. Please grant my wish, for the sake of everyone in the world. I want this world to be filled with smiles and laughter. And when that happens, I have no doubt I will be freed from this terror. Tiara. Your. Come everyone. Let us do our best today as we search for the Furies. Yeah. Do your best, Tiara. You need to do your best too, idiot! Ah, uh, there you are! Hey, Lola. It's rare to see your face around these parts. I found some great info today. And since you're such loyal customers, I thought I'd give you guys first dibs. Really? You're such a generous kid. I know, right? Now give me my money. She'd be a sweet kid if she wasn't so greedy. So, what's the information this time? Did you find another Fury? Yep, and if you want to know where it is, then give me my money. It'll cost you this much. Damn, expensive as usual. You know why I love you guys? Because even when you say my prices are expensive, you still end up paying them. Yeah, yeah, thanks. So, where's the Fury? My sources say they found a Fury at the Subterranean Tower. Apparently, there are a lot of powerful monsters prowling around that place. So make sure you earn lots of spending money. The Subterranean Tower. Is something wrong, Aaron? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. Let's get going. Huh? Where's Lord Truman? Now that you mention it, I haven't seen him today. Did he go somewhere? Eh, who cares about that guy? Let's just hurry up and find that Fury. Uh, wait! Hold on! Jeez, he never listens! He has not changed at all.
Thank you.